Yo, 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 what's going on? I am wearing my uh, blue light blockers and I feel a little bit strange wearing them. So I'm probably gonna take them off for this video. Uh, but yeah, hello, my name's Conrad. Uh, I'm an agency owner in the UK and I document my journey on here through these raw videos. So if you were expecting to click on a video with loads of different transitions and cuts and GTA video clips underneath and captions and so on, well, you've come to the wrong video, but stay for the value because this one is definitely interesting and it's something that isn't talked about enough in the agency space. Uh, and I'll keep you waiting because my last one is my favorite. Anyway, um, update on the day is I actually signed the client that I was on about in yesterday's video. So we onboarded today, we had the call. I took payment, the guy filled out the information actually prior to the call, which we typically are supposed to do on the call. Uh, but yeah, took the payment, contract's been drafted, it's set up, ready for tomorrow uh, with a, bu a bunch of different bits uh, on the email just to outline how we're supposed to share the um, the data or the data sets or whatever it is nowadays it's called on Facebook. Uh, essentially just give us access to the ad account so we can manage it for them and start creating the campaigns. Uh, and yeah, we'll get cracking on with that for the rest of the week. I've got two more demos and and then one more onboarding call at the end of this week. I need to book in. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of a catch up call and hopefully we're going to book in for, for next week. Now, before I get into this video, I know I'm already talking for about two minutes and I haven't even started. If you're interested in a private community, I'm not going to sell you anything on there. Uh, and I'm actually not even going to sell you the community because it's not even open yet. Uh, I'm just gathering the information or the interest of anybody that's actually interested. <laughs> I'm gathering the interest of everybody that's interested. Basically, if you're interested in a private community where people aren't going to sell you shit, click the link in the bio, let me know that you do want to see something like that. And there's also a newsletter that I'm starting this Sunday uh, for people that honestly constantly message me questions. And it's going to be sort of like a Q&A uh, every single week. I'm going to answer a few questions that I get in my DMs. I'm going to share the highs, the lows of running an agency and spit some sauce and some facts. Uh, but yeah, one of the first things that I want to cover is do not let others have leverage over you in business. And this I've learned the hard way. And unfortunately, that's the way things are. Sometimes you do learn things the hard way and people tell you to uh, to watch out for certain people and you still sort of go ahead with it. And I'll tell you the full story. Essentially what I did was I did advertising and marketing for this one guy. Uh, and funnily enough, it's my ex-employer. <laughs> so there's some there's some sauce there. I'm not going to go into all of the details, but essentially I've lost out on a lot of money. Uh, and it sort of feeds down the fact that you shouldn't be working for people for free and you should definitely not be working on the promise of potential money in the future and it's something that I've learned the hard way. I've worked three months without pay uh, on in the hopes of, oh, I'll pay you at the end of this month or oh, I'll pay you at the end of next week or oh, I'll pay you at the end of next month. The client's not paid us and in reality, any other client would be sacked off straight away. I do not work with people anymore unless I get paid on the first invoice and then it's automatically billed for the next ongoing invoices. You know, my my agency doesn't do contracts, so there's no commitments on the client side, so I'd ask them to respect us and actually pay the first initial invoice for our service because we don't fuck about. Uh, and with the offer that we're currently running as well, it's honestly a uh, no-brainer for them to pay that. So that's the way things are, it sort of balances it out. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't work for somebody for free anymore. And I know I understand that people do say this a lot and often at least get it like a setup fee, even if it's like 200 quid, uh, it's going to compensate for some of the work that you do. Otherwise, you're just going to spend hours and hours, especially if you're new to this stuff, and hours setting everything up and running campaigns and managing campaigns and, you know, checking for ad fatigue and all the sorts of stuff and not get paid at the end of it all. It just genuinely sucks, right? Um, but yeah, that's one of the things. Another thing is it's okay to turn away potential clients if they're showing red flags at the start. I've had plenty of these. Some of these have been on text. Some of these have been on calls uh, where they say they're interested, but they're not going to pay us straight away. They're not going to pay the setup fee. 
they don't agree to the terms of 5% or 10%, whatever we're doing in regards to the lead that they close. Uh, at the start, we actually did pay on results. And to be honest, it's not worth a hassle. If they're hassle at the start of the process, whether they're a lead or whether they're a prospect, whoever it is, they're most likely going to be a headache of a client. And it's the last thing you want to be doing. It's the exact same thing that I went through in regards to uh, this first point that I mentioned. It's not worth it. You need to learn when to cut the tie or you're going to pay the price, whether it's with your money or whether it's with your time or whether it's with your effort, whatever it is, you're going to pay the price later down the line. And it's the last thing you really want to be doing. Uh, Another thing I've learned as an agency owner running my agency, I've started this agency in January and I've taken it full time in April, at the end of April. So realistically been running it almost two months now actually, full time. So this is pretty sick and I wouldn't have it any other way. So yeah. You have to be learning every single day. And obviously it's the cliche thing of, oh, do better every day, be better every single day and and this and that. But actually one of the things that you can implement straight away is you have to record and review all of your calls, whatever it's a discovery call, whether it's a demo call, intro call, whatever you wanna call them, your onboarding calls. Uh, I even record like catch up calls with clients and see what I fucking say. And sometimes I cringe at myself with the jokes that we make and so on, but it's valuable because you can check this stuff and maybe not the, ch- the catch-up calls necessarily, but the calls, that discovery calls and the demo calls and so on, they allow you to see how you talk to people, what sort of, whether you even use a framework. If you do, you can upgrade or improve that framework over time. You know, if you take one call, you're not gonna be as good as if you took 100 calls using the same framework and you've improved it after every single call or after, however many weeks, whatever it is, right? Um, Yeah, it's so, so valuable. It's a hundred times my product and my service and my communication skills and the delivery of my words, whether it's on the phone, whether it's on the video, whether it's on the Zoom, whatever it is, it's just improved myself massively. Uh, So I have like a big folder on on my computer where I have every single call that I've pretty much every sing- ever taken and it's labeled and it's dated and I can see whether it's a catch up call, an intro call, a discovery call, uh, a demo call or whatever it is. Obviously sometimes if someone rings me and I'm out and about or whatever, I've not got that recorded unfortunately, but uh, yeah, I think it's very, very valuable to be doing that sort of stuff and I would recommend it. Uh, and another thing is you have to be, um, learning every single day, which I've already said, <laughs> uh, you ha- you massively underestimate the amount of work it takes to be anywhere near successful to the real business owners that you see on social media. And by, by the real business owners, I mean people that have actually made it in the real world and just not in this little agency space that we have on YouTube. Um, because it's so easy to nowadays pretend that you are successful. I've seen a guy on TikTok today, he's an English guy, and a lot of you guys are English, so you might have heard of him before, it's called Cam. I'm not gonna bait out the names and that, but genuinely, some of these people just fake being in a podcast room, and they're speaking to somebody, which is obviously nobody, uh, and he said that he can post a 15 second video in the morning, and he's going to make 1600 quid by the end of the day, and he, he knows which one he'd prefer to be, and it's just fucking bollocks. And people buy into this shit. And he's got like eight hundred thousand followers, and I'm not one to hate, but you can, I can see through it, right? I can see straight through it. It's a podcast setup, um, and to be honest, it's I'm not even going to slate it. But fair play, I mean, it's 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 clever, but it's been done, and people can see through it, which is why I'm authentic, which is why I'm raw, and. You know, if you can sit through a 10 minute video of me chatting shit, you are probably gonna succeed because your attention span has been ruined by TikTok or by Instagram Reels. Um, so yeah, just honestly, the amount of work that it that it takes is, uh, is a lot. So you have to work hard as fuck any minute of the day. And a lot of people talk about diminishing results or returns, sorry. Uh, and I think, you know, returns are returns. <laughs> you know, Obviously, you're not going to be as productive in the 13th hour of working as you were in the first two hours, for example, but you're still getting returns for that. 
uh, effort and the work that you're putting in. So I think it's uh, I think it's it's worth it. Um, and yeah, on another another thing that I've just put on here is optimize your life for maximum input to get the highest output. And honestly, <clears throat> I think this takes me on to the final point, which is uh, I haven't been optimizing my life to the sort of maximum input vibe, I guess. Um, and I've I've been I don't know it's something that I've been on mind. I've recently hung out with one of my mates that I've not seen for probably about two or three weeks, and we don't really get to see each other very often just because our paths aren't the same in life in regards to you know what I do, what he does. He works a full time job. He um, he goes out to the gym, but it's a different gym and. We don't get to see each other too much, to be honest. He plays video games a lot. I don't play video games anymore. I used to absolutely smash Counter Strike and um, Rust and Fortnite and all those games, but nowadays I do not, uh, which is why you know we're not really the closest we've ever been. But whatever it is, what it is, I digress. Essentially, what I did was we went out. We were supposed to go to the gym for a session. We turned up to the gym. We both couldn't really be bothered, so we turned out and we went to the pub had two pints and then fucked off home. So it wasn't exactly the worst of the worst uh, outcomes from that. But um, it's something that has been on my mind recently. And I don't know, what do you guys think? If anyone's even gotten this far, um, I'm just thinking of probably distancing myself a little bit because it's not brought out the best in me. And I want to be around people that bring out the best in me. And I don't know, I don't want to be that person that just walks about, talks about business all the time and optimizing my life for X, Y, and Z and, you know, how much does your agency make and all this bullshit, but, um, yeah, it's something that's been on my mind and I don't know how, how I feel about it, but if you made it to the end of this video, um, thanks for watching and hopefully this this has brought you a little bit of value at least. I know it's not a edited video, it's not jumpy and animations left right and center and so on but these are raw videos some may call them lazy uh, i try and provide some value and some insight into running an agency and what it actually is like because a lot of people will just try and funnel you shit so you buy their course and i'm being real i'm documenting my, sh my, my stuff my journey from the very beginning of this year uh, from no clients to whatever we're at right now and yeah, that's what it is. Uh, so hopefully somebody finds it valuable and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.